Hey Leah. Babe? Leah. I see you're online. Answer me. Hello. Sorry babe I was tall. Are you trying to avoid me? What? No. Well then why were you ignoring me? I wasn't. I was talking to my group chat. Sorry. Well is there a guy in your GC? Yep. Add me. I'm okay. That's what Ellie I said, Maya but she... has been added. Oh, hi, Leah. Hey, guys, sorry for leaving you like that. My boyfriend texted me. It's okay, don't worry. Yeah, it's fine. Enough chatting. I'm Mike. Nice to meet you. Wait, why is your user Illy Maya? Who's Maya? It's his ex. He just hasn't changed it yet. Leah, if you want me to change it, you're paying for it. And when are you giving me my weekly allowance? Oh, uh, I'll give you it next week. Okay. Anyways, who's this sweetheart? Me? Who else would it be? Ha ha. I'm Ellie. I'm Babe. Pretty. Thank you, Louv. My brother's name is Mike. That's a nice name. Hey, do you remember you're with someone? Why did you compliment his brother? I was just being nice. It's not really a big of a deal. You call Ellie sweetheart. Like, hey, aren't you dating someone too, or am I a ghost? That's not the point. You know what, me and Ellie are gonna take a break from you two. Both of you are so annoying. Let's go, Ellie. What? Take a break. You've only been here for two minutes. I need a break from you. You don't need a break from me, Em. So done with you. Leah, he's horrible. How can you haven't left him yet? You need to dump him. Oh, uh, I don't know. You need to do it right now. He treats you terrible. You need someone who could treat you better. Thank you, but I'm really shocked that Ellie would do this to me. She's been my BSF ever since I started Roblox. What's changed? I've wasted so much money and time on people who don't care about me. Don't worry, Leah. I'm gonna get it all back. How? You'll see soon. Just tell me what are you gonna do? I'm gonna. Oh, you guys are back. Why'd you come? It was obvious that you don't like Leah anymore. Well, actually, I'm back to apologize. Apologize? That's a joke. I actually come here to apologize. Do you forgive me? I... Great! I knew you would forgive me. So now can you give me 5,000 Robux, please? I need it for a game me and Ella. I mean, I need it for a game for you and I to play together. What? Do it or you're a bad girlfriend. I won't because I'm not his GF anymore. I'm tired of all this tea he has done to me. What, babe? Don't leave me, I've done nothing but love you. I don't deserve this, please. I've done nothing wrong, you're being over dramatic. Wow, so you haven't done anything. Think twice before you speak, mate. Please, I did nothing wrong, Widem, babe. I just need 5,000 Robux. You're acting so dumb. Have you not taken enough from me already? Leah, he's your boyfriend. You should give him Robux. I should giving him Robux? Yeah, okay. Like I said, he's not my boyfriend anymore. Come on, let's go, Nick. Nick? Hello, Nick? Haha, <laughs> look, even Nick is leaving you. At least I have a dad. What, what the HL? HL? All the stuff I earned is gone. Your stuff? Yeah, okay. Oh, no. Where's my headless and core blocks? Oh my god, why do I have 200k Robux? I told you I'd get your stuff back. Like I said, it's not your stuff. It's Leah's. And you're not my friend anymore. Nick, how could you do this to me? I worked so hard to get this stuff. Give us our stuff back, please. Using me isn't working hard, you know. Babe, we didn't use you. Yeah, sure. Like I said, think twice before you speak, Mike. I really thought I could trust you guys. You did all of this for a girl you met today. Why might? Uh, I don't know. Both of you just leave. I don't want to waste my time on you, do. I can't wait to see how long your relationship lasts. What's wrong with you, Leah? You're so rude. Oh, I'm rude. Just shut up, Anne Lee. No, not without us getting our stuff back whether we used you for it or what. We still earned it. So give it back right now. Ellie and Mike has been kicked. Leah, I'm really sorry this happened to you. At least you got your Robux back. I don't know why they take advantage over a nice girl. Me neither. But thank you for getting all my stuff and Robux back. You're a true friend. You're someone I could trust. Thank you, Nick. No problem. Nick and Leah become good friends and eventually they become more than best friends. The end.
Hey Grace, guess what? What? I got something you said I'd never have. OMG, you got a girlfriend? Yep. Impossible. You know imaginary. Girlfriends don't count, right? She's real. Ahaha. Uh -huh. Can I add her? Sure. But what if she doesn't like me? She will don't worry. She has the same energy as you. Oh, okay. Lori has been added. Hi, babe. Oh, hi. You must be Grace, right? Elliot told me a lot about you. Yeah, that's me. He's told you good things, right? Yes, OFC lol. I'm Lowry, by the way. You guys are gonna be a good friends, I can tell. Well, do you guys want to play something? Yeah, let's play Bloxburg. But Elliot, we usually play that together? Oh, well, I play it with Grace too. Oh, okay. Wait one sec, Elliot. Grace just texted to talk in private. Wait, what? Well, that was weird. I'm sure it's nothing. They seem like they're getting along already. Oh, Grace changed her avatar. Grace, Grace has, unfriended has unfriended you. Grace, Grace has, has blocked, blocked you. What the? Why did Grace block and unfriend me? Wait, what? She did? Yep. Wow, maybe she was a fake friend. She seemed so nice though. I can't believe it. She was my best friend. Don't be sad. You still have me. I know, right? Oh, my god, Grace just texted me to tell you it was a mistake and she's gonna unblock and friend you again. Oh. So, uh, I'll burp. My mom's calling me. This seems weird. How could Grace accidentally unfriend me and block me? I hope Laurie isn't a part of this. Grace. What? Can you unblock and friend Elliot? Wait, what? Why do you want me to do that? Two minutes ago you told me. Well, that was two minutes ago. Just shut up and do that please. He's unhappy without you and I wanna see him happy again. What is wrong with you? Just do it quick, or you'll never talk and see him again. You're lucky I'm doing this. Grace unblocked Elliot. Grace sent a friend request to Elliot. He accepted. Okay, join me. Oh hi, you're back. Yeah, me and Grace were having a great conversation, right Grace? Wait. Grace, how did you accidentally unfriend and block me earlier? It wasn't an accident. Then what happened? Shows a recording she took of her talking to Laurie. What the HL Grace? Those messages were private for a reason. Why would you record them? Well, when you told that I messaged you to talk in private, I knew this wouldn't go to well so I recorded it. Ugh, I hate you. Wow Laurie, I thought you were really the girl for me. And Laurie, what you did was all pointless. I don't like Elliot if that's what you thought. I'm already with someone. Yeah, she is. She likes him a lot. She tells me everything about him. What? So she has told you a lot, but you've never met her so-called boyfriend. Uh, he's probably not even real, so. Hey, babe. Hey, Chris. Oh, hey, Chris. Your avatar is so cute, by the way. A uh, thanks, I guess. Who's that, Grace? Well, this is Lori. But she was leaving, right, Lori? Wait, what? Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. Ugh, fine. Chris, come on, let's play something. Then we could get to know each other. Um, no thanks. Whatever, come on, Elliot. Are you really that stupid? Of course, I'm not gonna go with you. Go find someone else. What? How could you do this to me? You heard me. Leave. I'm unfriending and blocking you. Whatever, you're lost. I could do so much better anyway. Yeah, sure, and so could I. I don't know what happened, but I'm sorry, Elliot. It's okay, I didn't like her attitude anyway. Oh, ahaha. Uh -huh -huh. Gosh, she was a bum. Yeah. Chris and Grace stayed a close couple. Chris and Elliot became a good friends. The end. Bah ha ha ha. I know, right? Shh, she's gonna notice. Okay, okay, sorry, Ashley. Notice what? Um, nothing. Hey, babe. Oh, hi. Don't you remember? What? Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's my birthday today. Um, that's not I meant. I was gonna pretend I didn't remember cause. I was planning something for you, babe. Wait, what? Daniel, did you just call Ashley, babe? No, that was a mistake, sorry. I was thinking about you, Chloe. That's why I said, babe. If you were thinking of me, you would have remembered. Oh my god, remembered what? I, um, have to go. Happy three-year anniversary, Daniel. Oh, that's what? 
Oops. Oops, you could have apologized or something at least. Well, it doesn't matter that he forgot. She didn't wish me happy birthday, so she obviously forgot about that. What? She sent you a happy birthday message this morning. Go check. I gotta go. Whatever. Bye. Finally, we can talk alone. You have to be more careful, Daniel. You called me babe in front of both of them. Small things like that is what's gonna get us caught. Oh yeah. Sorry. They can't know we're together yet. You have to get more money off Chloe so I can, um, so we can share it. What? Sure, babe. I knew something was wrong. I need to tell Chloe. But what if she doesn't believe me? I need proof. Let me watch them talk a little longer. What the HL Laura is still here? Kick her. Wait, stop. I have a plan to get some proof. Um, I won't tell Chloe that you guys are together. I'm actually using her too, so we can work together. What? Chloe. A no wait I was. Well, I was coming back to ask if you want to play Roblox with me, Laura, but I guess you're busy. Wait, Chloe, please, you don't understand. Um, Chloe, everything she was saying was a lie, by the way. She just joined the chat and started saying it me and Daniel definitely aren't together. Yeah, Ashley is right. I don't care anymore, I'm done with all of you. Wait, what have I done? I didn't. You almost got us caught again. You better leave, cause she's not gonna want you here anymore. I didn't even mean any of that. I was trying to catch you out and get proof to show Chloe. Well, good luck explaining that to her. Ugh, what am I gonna do? Um, maybe I could just try to explain. She probably won't want to hear it, but I don't want her to think I meant that. I was just trying to help. I'll tell her. Oh great, you haven't blocked me yet. I was literally just about to. What do you want, Laura? Listen, please. You joined at the worst moment. You don't understand why I was saying that stuff. I caught Ashley and Daniel talking about how they're using you and cheating, so I wanted to get some proof to show you. So I tried acting like I was on their side to get them to say stuff for me to screenshot. But then, then you joined, so it looked like I was actually saying that. Sure. I promise you, Chloe. They tried to deny they were cheating, remember? Maybe if we join them now, we'll catch them. Uh, whatever. Aha, that was so lucky. If Laura didn't decide to do that stupid plan to get proof, then we would be the ones who got caught. Yeah, and now the innocent one is getting kicked. And we can still stay in the GC using her. So Laura was right. Why don't you guys ever check if there's anyone in the chat with you? What? I... Never mind, I'm leaving, you can deal with this. Wait. Ahaha, uh -huh, I can explain. Well, um, yeah, actually, never mind. Ahaha, uh -huh, they got so embarrassed. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry for not believing you, Laura. Don't worry. At least you know the truth now. Yeah. Thank you. No problem, bestie. Daniel and Ashley broke up. Chloe and Laura never heard from them again and they stayed good friends. The end. Hi, Yell. Oh, hey, Kayla. Wanna play? Ha. Hello. Oh, sorry, Brent was just messaging me. Uh, I was saying. Brent. He's your boyfriend, right? Ah, uh, yeah, lol. Well, um. I've never met him, you should add him. Oh, uh, IG, it would be good for you guys to get to know each other. Add him. Well, I actually have to go now, but I'll add. OMG, just add him. A uh, fine. Hey, Brent, I have to go for a sec, but my friend Ellie really wanted to meet you, so maybe you guys can pick a game we can play while I'm gone. Okay, bye, babe. Bye. Hi, I'm Ellie. It's so great to meet you. Oh, haha, ha, you too. Your voice is really cute, by the way. Um, thanks. So what should we play? You pick. Okay, well, maybe. Oh, no. Let's play Bloxburg. We can RP as like a couple or something. What? A couple? Uh, I don't think so. Why? We'd be so cute as a fake couple. No. Why? It's just a game. I'm not comfortable with it, sorry. Brent, come on. I know how you really feel about Kayla. You don't have to pretend. Excuse me. Brent, you don't have to lie to me. 
because I feel the same way about her. She's so annoying. What the? Hey guys, did you pick a game? Oh uh, yeah, but before we join can I speak to you in priv chat, Kayla? Sure. Wait, why? Well, it's called private chat for a reason. It's supposed to be private. A uh, fine. Brent, that was kinda rude. She was probably just curious. Trust me, Kayla, I'm not the rude one. She is. What? When you left, she said some stuff to me. What she said? Um, lemma just show you the screenshots I took. Send screenshots. What? I can't believe it. No, she's my best friend. I've known her six years. She's never done anything like this. Kayla, I promise. No, no, she's always so nice. I don't know if I can believe it. Well, uh, I don't know. Maybe I can prove it somehow, oh I know. Huh? You can pretend to leave but still stay in the GC, and then you can see her saying that to me. Uh, okay. Oh, finally, you're back, Burr. Uh, guys. Yeah, but I have to go again, sorry. Aw, uh, that's sad. Well, bye. Bye. Uh, finally, she's gone. We can talk about us again. Brent. I mean it. We should actually be together. Don't you agree that Kayla is so annoying? We're so perfect together. Please. What the HL? Kayla. Yeah. Oh. How long have you been here? Long enough. What are you doing? Brent told me you were saying stuff like this to him, but I had to see it to believe it. Oops. If you found me annoying, then why are you even friends with me? And you're trying to get with Brent. Is that the only reason why you wanted to meet him? No. You got it all wrong, Kayla. It's just a joke, I'm only kidding. Wow, kidding, even if it was a joke it wouldn't be funny. But you clearly wasn't joking anyway. Look. There are so many people out there, why would I choose your boyfriend, Kayla? I don't know, Ellie. Why would you? Kayla, I swear. We're besties, please don't do this. All these years will just go to waste. Okay, fine. If you admit you were trying to get with Brent, I'll forgive you and let you stay here. Okay, well. Yes, I was. I thought so. Okay, bye. Wait, you said I could stay. And you believe that? Well, um. I hate you both anyway. Bye. I don't even care. Ahaha. Then why are you still here? Ugh. Ellie ended up quitting Roblox, but Kayla and Brent stayed together and lived happily. The end. Ruby, Jack will be here in five minutes. I want the three of us to hang out. What? I'm leaving now. I don't want to see him. Why? What is wrong? Why haven't you guys broken up yet? What do you mean? We love each other. But Stacy, why would you want a guy with no money? I have rich parents, just like you, so I don't need a rich guy. Money isn't important to me. That's weird. I'd like a rich guy. Why? Your parents can buy you anything. Hey, everybody. What are you guys talking about? Hey, never mind. Tell me what's new with you. I bought you some flowers. Here you go. Wow. Thank you. That's really nice. Ahaha. Uh -huh. Is something wrong? Are those flowers to you? I think Stacy deserves more than that. Ruby, come on. That's not why we're here. Stacy, you have a very angry friend. Don't mind her. Ruby won't make fun of you anymore. Right, Ruby? Sure. Can I ask Jack a question? I hope you're not gonna make a joke. No, I want to ask you what Jack is getting you for your birthday. Honestly, I hadn't thought about that. Stacy, what would you like as a gift? Jack, I'm afraid you don't have enough money. Stacy likes expensive gifts. No, I'd be happy with an ordinary gift. Even if you just give me flowers. Oh, really? Yes, but you can get me something else if you want. And I'll get you a new phone for your birthday. Great, why not? Excuse me, I have to go. I've got a lot to do. Don't go, we want to talk. I feel uncomfortable here. Why? We're at my place. But I still don't feel comfortable. Can we meet up tomorrow? Okay. Finally, he's gone, and we can go on. Ruby, when you get a boyfriend, I'll laugh at him too. 
Don't worry, I'll have the perfect boyfriend. But Jack is perfect too. He's handsome, attentive to me. Okay, I don't want to argue with you. I have to go too. Bye. Bye. The next day. Ruby, I finally found you. What happened? My dad's expensive watch is missing. Have you seen it? No, but maybe Jack stole it. Wait, why Jack? But you're dating a poor guy, so he might have stolen the watch to make money. And if you stole it? Why would I steal it? I have a lot of money. Yeah, sorry. Then I don't even know what to do. Wait, I remember Jack stepping away for five minutes yesterday. So what? You think he went to steal a watch? Well, yeah, that's the only thing. Do I need to call the police now? If you want to see your daddy's watch again, yes. 30 minutes later. Boy, you have to come with us now. What? But I didn't do anything. Why are you detaining me? We got a request that you stole a watch. What watch? I don't understand anything. I'll take you down to the police station and we'll find out. Five minutes later. Stacy, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, I'm the one who complained to the police about you. Is this some kind of joke? Let me out. I know you stole my dad's watch. Give it back and they'll let you go and we'll keep seeing each other. But I never stole anything. You have no proof. No one else could have done it but you. Is it because I don't have enough money? Is that why you thought it was me? Yes, but I had no other choice. Then go away. I don't want to see you. Give me back my watch and they'll let you go. I promise. Bye. Three hours later. Well, did Jack give you the watch back? No, but I still can't believe he would do that. The watch couldn't have disappeared on its own. I think you did the right thing. I'm gonna believe it. Three days later. You can go out of here. Really? I'm free now? Almost. You've been bailed out. Bail? But I thought Stacy found out it wasn't my fault. No, she's still mad at you. Ruby, but what are you doing here? Wait, were you the one who bailed me out? Yeah, who else would have done it? But why would you do that? You didn't want me to communicate with you. It doesn't matter. I suggest we go to my house and have tea. I can't. I have to make up with Stacy. I have to tell her it wasn't my fault. She's already heard that, and she didn't believe you. Aren't you afraid to call me over to your house? What if I steal something from you? I know you didn't steal the watch. But how do you know that? Come with me and I'll tell you about it. An hour later, at Ruby S. Place. Okay, we're here. You can talk now. Did you find out who stole the watch? Jack, did you like what Stacy did? No, because of her, I went to jail. I think you should forget about her and go on enjoying life. She betrayed you. I agree. She didn't believe me. I didn't expect her to do that. I also wanted to tell you that I like you. It's a joke, huh? No, I'm serious. And by the way, you don't have a girlfriend now, so you can date me. Is this some kind of prank? No, go for it. We're gonna be a beauty couple. But I know how you felt about me. You asked Stacy to break up with me. Oh, um, I don't remember that. You also said I didn't have any money, and you laughed about it. That was a long time ago. I like you now. It's all very strange. I think I'm dreaming. Should I pinch you? Don't. I believe you. But I can't dating with you. You're Stacy's friend. So what? I'm not going to ask you to hang out with her. Hey Ruby, I was in police station. They told me Jack got bail. Yeah, I did. Jack, what are you doing here? I'm Don T. Want to talk to you. No offense. I just wanted my dad's watch back. Stacy, you better go for now. I need to talk to Jack. That's my boyfriend. What are you going to talk to him about? I don't think he's your boyfriend anymore. He doesn't want to go out with you anymore. What watch is that? Wait, that's my dad's watch. What are they doing in your house, Ruby? No, that's my watch. I bought it yesterday. Did you buy yourself a man's watch? Don't lie. Yeah, I liked it. I didn't know your dad had one just like it. Now that the watch has been found, can you take your statement from the police so I don't get convicted? Yes, I will. Don't worry. See, Jack, you got a bad ex-girlfriend. She's the one who put you in jail. She convicted you even though you didn't steal the watch. I think I figured it out. You purposely stole the watch so you could break me up with Jack and start dating him. You're so smart. You figured it out, Bahaha. I can't believe it. How could you? You didn't like him. I was pretending so you wouldn't guess anything. I liked Jack the first time I saw him. Oh my god, what is going on? Jack, let's keep dating. We've made up our minds. No, I can't forgive you. 
It's better if we don't see each other so this situation doesn't happen again. That's right. You're going to date me. And I'm not gonna be with you either. You betrayed your friend, which means you can betray me too. I'm leaving you. Bye. So, are you happy? Now he's gone from the two of us. This is all because of you. Why did you come? No, you're the inattentive one who couldn't hide the watch. The end? I'll tell you about my childhood. It was horrible. My parents abandoned me when I was two years old. They were young and they didn't want to raise a child. They left with my granny and left. My granny raised me as her own daughter and didn't want me to see my parents because they abandoned me. She always said that they didn't deserve to communicate with me. But my granny could not replace my parents. When I had some problems, I solved them myself. My granny didn't really want to get involved in my life. It was enough for her that I had a place to live and something to eat. I had lots of friends, but still, I felt lonely. I knew that my friends would go home and talk to their parents. It hurt me that I couldn't do the same. But it toughed me up, and I wanted to be successful. I wanted to move out of my granny's house and live alone. And it happened. I grew up and rented a little house. I wanted to furnish it the way I wanted it, not the way my granny told me to. My neighbors, though, they were kind of weird. They were about 40 years old, they never approached me, but they looked at me all the time. One day, I was on my way to a date. I came out of the house and I saw them looking at me, without taking their eyes off me. It made me feel so uncomfortable. I began to suspect they were maniacs. But I was lucky. I had a boyfriend who came to live with me and I had a peace of mind. I knew he could protect me. He was perfect for me. We thought alike, we listened to similar music and he didn't have parents either. When my boyfriend left for work, there was a knock on our door. I opened it and I saw my neighbors. They looked at me and didn't say anything. I asked them what they wanted, but they turned around and left silently. I told my boyfriend about it and he bought me a bed so I could stand up for myself. One day I was leaving my house to go to walk, but on my doorstep I saw flowers. I immediately realized that my boyfriend had surprised me. It's only strange why he left them outside and not at home. In the evening I told him thank you, but he didn't understand anything. I told him about the bouquet of flowers and he was surprised. He said he didn't buy me flowers and <laughs> got jealous. It made me laugh. I thought I had an admirer who was secretly in love with me. Maybe it was someone from my work, but I didn't suspect anyone. These gifts began to appear very often. From simple cards with good wishes to a new phone I found in a mailbox. My boyfriend couldn't find any peace. He thought I had someone else. I assured him that I hadn't. And then he was my only one. It was true. He had become the closest person to me. Still, I wondered who was leaving these gifts. I began to look around and to look out the window often, through which I could see the front door of the house. It was there that I would find the gifts. It became a habit. Even when I woke up at night, I look at the window, and one day, I found this man. Or rather, there were two of them. They were my weird neighbors. I was even more surprised, and I didn't understand why they were giving me a bunch of stuff. I mean, even my boyfriend doesn't spend that much money on me. I made the decision to go to them and figure it out. I knocked on their door, but got no answer. I didn't know what I was going to do about it. I was curious to talk to them. And one day, I looked out the window and I saw them walking their dog. I went up to them and asked them to explain why they were giving me gifts. 
They looked at me and didn't say anything. It's happened before. I wasn't surprised. Are you my parents? I asked. And the woman said yes. Oh, I don't know why I asked them that. I guess I felt something standing next to them. They told me that they were too shy to say to me and decided to just leave gifts. They wanted to make me feel good. But why all this, I thought. It turns out that when they moved here, they immediately recognized me. And with gifts, they wanted to make up for the fact that they abandoned me as a child. Yeah, they wanted to start communicating with me, but they didn't know how to do it. I didn't need them, though. I was able to make my life happy without them. I left, and I didn't want to communicate with them anymore. But my boyfriend said I should keep in touch with them. He was right, actually. It was unusual and interesting. They listened to everything I told them. They constantly offered to help me and apologized for abandoning me. I did not forgive them, but decided to communicate with them because I lacked the warmth of my parents. Even though they're not the best, they're mine.